Number 62. The limit to the eye's acuity is actually related to the diffraction by the pupil. Letter A. What is the angle between two just resolvable points of light for a 3 millimeter diameter pupil, assuming an average wavelength of 550 nanometers? All right, so we've uh, seen this concept played out several uh, times in the past now, a uh, couple of problems, and um, we're just going to plug it into the formula now. If you need a review of the concept, please check out the prior problems. You can always find it uh, on our channel. Under the playlist section, go to College Physics Playlist and find Chapter 27. Um, so here, the angle of resolution will be equal to 1.22 multiplied by the wavelength. Here it's in nanometers. I mean, technically you could leave it in nanometers, but then your diameter better be in nanometers. In other words, you just have to have consistent units. So instead of thinking about converting it all to different, you know, uh, millimeters or micrometers or nanometers, I just convert everything here to meters. So 550 times 10 to the minus 9th, that's a simple conversion, divided then by the diameter of that particular aperture. In this case, it's the pupil, so it's 3 times 10 to the minus 3. And then all you need to do is take out the calculator and plug it in. So it's just 1.22 times then 550 times 10 to the minus 9th, divided by 3 times 10 to the minus 3rd. And we get a value of about uh, 2.24. All right, 2.24 times 10 to the minus fourth, and this is in terms of radians, okay? Radians. So, that takes care of letter A, that's the angle. Now letter B, we'll change the color. Get a little happy blue. God, I love Bob Ross. Letter B, take your results to the practical limit for the eye. What is the greatest possible distance a car can be from you if you can resolve its two headlights, given they are 1.3 uh, meters apart? So basically, right here, we'll pretend that this right here is your pupil, and you have two headlights, maybe one here, and here's the car, right? It's some distance away. So there's a couple of ways that we can solve this. Um, the angle we just found, right, in terms of this picture is basically, well, it'd help if it stayed at that angle, but no, you know, it's going to do its own thing. So that's okay, right? We just, we work with what we got. So here... Just going to line that all up. So basically what we found here is uh, this particular angle. Now, uh, you know, this angle is, you know, 2.24 times 10 to the minus 4 radians. I mean, you're talking, you know, less than, you know, that's like two ten thousandths of a, of a radian, okay? I mean, it's very, very small. So that being the case, <coughs> you can do this in one of two ways. You can use uh, the, um, the arc formula where you take that angle in radians, you multiply it by the radius, and then that will equal the arc length. In other words, this would this is almost like a circle, right? Pretend that this is your rotate your point of rotation, all right? And you know, then if this were to you know sweep out a circle here like this, that would be your arc length, okay? And depending upon whatever angle there is between those two, you're going to find that curve, that arc curve. Now, obviously, you know. The true distance here would be a straight line to that point, right? But now we would have to divide the angle by 2. Then what you would have to do is you would have to do a tangent calculation, okay? You would divide, you would basically find half of the uh, total um, width between the headlights, right? So if it's total 1.3, then you'd be plugging in half of that over here, right? Which would be 0.65. And then you can do a tangent calculation. Instead, I'm going to use the arc form, and you'll notice that they're basically the same thing. So uh, what we're going to do here is I'm going to assume that the R here is 1.13 meter, uh, 1.30 meters, right? And then what we're going to do is we're going to now throw everything in. So this is 2.24 times 10 to the minus fourth, multiplied by that distance of 1.3 meters, and then the L now, uh, well, actually, whoops, I messed that up, sorry. Ah, oh, boy, that's what happens when you don't get enough sleep. This is the, uh, this is the arc length, okay? This is the distance between those two headlights. So that's going to be assumed to be 1.3. So that's, R is what we're finding, all right? Okay, so here, the length here between the uh, two points there is going to be now 1.3. All right, so then you just have to divide out the point 
uh, the 2.24 times 10 to the minus fourth from both sides, so we'll do that. And we get a really large distance, right? I mean, this is about 5, you know, point eight zero or so times 10 to the 3 meters. In other words, 5 kilometers, 5.8 kilometers. All right. Do the calculation also with theta, tan of theta, right? It would have been tan of theta over 2 because right, you need half of that angle. And then what you would have done was you would have then uh, taken the opposite side, which would have been half of this 1.3, so it would have been 1.3 over 2, and then you would have found that adjacent side. If you solve this for A, you know what, I'm just going to do it. I can't help myself. So it would be 1.3 over 2, then divide it by, make sure your calculator, by the way, is in uh, radian mode. All right. I don't want to see any comments saying I'm wrong down there if you're in degree mode. All right, be careful. So tangent of uh, theta, so that angle is 2.23, good. Then divide that by two, <clears throat> and what do you get? Would you look at that? This is about 5.81 now, okay? 5.81. So here, now we found that the R, or the distance from the I to the car is now 5.81 times 10 to the third. Hmm, this is the better answer, but you know, it might require a little more complex calculation. At the end of the day, is there really a big difference between these two? Well, on the test there might be, right, depending upon your professor, but in reality, it doesn't matter. Let us see, what is the distance between two just resolvable points held at an arm's length of 0.8 meters from your eye? So basically we're gonna use this exact same formula as we did before, theta r is equal to L, all right, the L represented the distance between the points. So the theta here was 2.24 times 10 to the minus fourth. And the R now, the distance from the body is 0.8 meters. Solve that for L. Just throw that on into the calculator. 2.24 times 10 to the minus fourth divided by 0.8. And what do we get? We get a value of now the distance between those two points being one point. I guess 7, 9 times 10 to the minus 4th, and that's in terms of meters, so obviously that's 0.179 millimeters. Uh, that takes care of that. And then letter B, uh, letter D, how does your answer C compare to details you normally observe in everyday circumstances? Uh, yeah, sure. Guys, thanks so much for tuning in. I appreciate it. All right, I look forward to helping you with more problems, and I'll see you in the future. Isn't that interesting? I'll see you in the future. Very positive outlook on life. Take care.